Beware of the man who speaks in hands. That's what the river guy told me when I asked him to fast travel to another place in the underground map. Hello, I'm Yusuf, and this is my theory about WD Gaster from Undertale. But first, I'm gonna talk about a video made by a friend, Mr. Cyrus. Mr. Cyrus just finished Delta Rune like everyone here, I guess. I'm just going to give my opinions about his theories. Just like Mr. Cyrus, this video is my first video in English. There is another version in French just here. Also, this video contains a lot of spoilers. Try to play both of Undertale and Deltarune before watching this video. And by the way, his video made me think about making my own theory. Let's begin with Jevil. When you enter the question mark room, there is someone called Jevil. He's like the sense of the Delta Rune world. His fight is hardcore, and we know after beating him that the rest of the game is going to be hardcore too. He's supposed to be outside the simulation, like Gaster, and a third person too. And what do we know about Gaster? His experience failed and made him banned from the space time. I used the debug mode to meet Gaster and Gaster followers, but the one who made me feel that something is happening beyond the limits of Undertale's world is this one. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who is listening. We know that Gaster was listening to that conversation, plus he is the man who speaks in hands. I know, the hands are included in the WG font, but not only hands, even emojis and a whistle. The player is the only one who can listen to Frisk and Gaster's followers' conversation. Let's act like we already know that Gaster created the Goner characters. In Deltarune, you were supposed to create that Garner character. I'm not sure that my theory is correct. And I also agree with Mr. Cyrus and his theory. Who told me that? According to Mr. Cyrus' theory, it's Gaster, because he is the system. Are we connected? Does that mean that the player is another creator? Because remember, the player is someone who speaks in hands. The player can hear the conversations between Gaster followers and Frisk. And this. Why is this the first time we see Frisk speaking with someone from a first person view? Maybe because it's talking to you, the player. Kara in Deltarune threw the heart in the cage and the body became controlled 100% by her. Let's get back to Undertale. Kara was speaking to you, but where is Frisk? That's Frisk's body. And the same thing happened to him, you, with your guidance. Together we eradicated the enemy. That means she killed the monsters, but this is what Frisk did, because you were just guiding the character. Even in the toy box, the heart can still move. Thank you, Mr. Cyrus. Now we know that the player is the heart, not the character. But I think that the heart, you, Gaster, are the same person, who made her living in a world where she is unable to kill enemies. Kara becomes a human with that heart, but without it, she becomes melting because she is considered as a monster filled up with determination. In Delta Rune, when you control Kara, she becomes Chris. But when you control Kara in Undertale, she becomes Frisk. And I am sure that she is Frisk because when she kills you, you receive a lot of damage. The number of lost life points is so huge that I was thinking and telling myself who else has got that huge amount of power. It's not a normal person. Another thing, we all know that this refers to Sans and Papyrus. But you can do the same thing like Sense. You can meet Sense multiple times before the judgment. You can go back to the checkpoints whenever you want. Just restart the game. The checkpoint also fills you with determination. Something unusual is happening. Something like using a power which allows you to make a time travel. Maybe these two guys are you and Sense. Because Papyrus doesn't have such a great power. And here comes the Gunner Kit. Have you ever thought about a world where everything is exactly the same, except 
you don't exist. Everything functions perfectly without you. Then you're not Gaster. Because according to the video of Mr. Cyrus, Gaster is the system itself, the creator. Maybe you are not really important and that's all. But I think that the Goner Kid is hiding an important secret about Gaster. Because even the percentage of chance to meet him is lower than the other Gaster followers. Maybe the Goner Kid was talking to Frisk because after creating Deltarune's world, we can notice that only you and Kara are present and that Chris is different from Frisk and that's how Gaster created a world without him. 